Hi, this is JP from Not A Lot Over Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions deck testing video. And this time we are testing out the pre-built Justice deck for Gambit. And I decided to try this out against the uh, Project Wide Awake scenario. But with one exception, uh, I removed the Sentinels modular set and added the new uh, Exodus modular set that came with uh, Gambit. So we'll see how that functions also. So uh, I am using the pre-built deck. No changes made to the uh, deck list. Uh, so straight out of the pack and Justice should be able to handle all the side schemes, etc. And keep the threat low while I'll whittle down the sentinel. But we'll see how that goes, so let's get started. Okay, we are ready to start. So I have set up the scenario. Uh, we start with one threat on the main scheme. Uh, we have the mutants at the mall side scheme in play. And it has an acceleration icon, so we need to get rid of that as fast as possible. Uh, we can ignore the Operation Zero Tolerance side scheme because it's permanent, we can't remove it. But keeping that in mind, we have some abilities that if you remove the last threat, you do something. So if we don't have any other targets, we can remove threat from that uh, in a pinch, but we'll see. Uh, let's draw our opening hand of uh, six cards. We'll see what we get, and if we need the mulligan, we have Stealth Strike, Beauty and the Thief, Hit and Run, Energy, Thief Skill, and Molecular Acceleration. I think we don't need the Stealth Strike, Beauty and the Thief at the beginning. Mm, hit and Run. We could actually play that, but do we really want to? I'm debating. I, I could remove the top and remove uh, some threat from the mutants at the mall. Maybe I'll keep it and... Uh, actually, I'll keep the thief skilled also. So we'll remove these two. We'll draw two more cards, another hit and run, and charge card. Well, um, not sure if I want to use the charge card right at the beginning, so maybe I'll just use it as a resource. So we are not attacking with uh, Remy <coughs> uh, yet, so I'll play the Thieves Guild using the charge card. So we have the Thieves Guild in play. So Alter Ego responds after you resolve your Thief Extraordinary ability. Exhaust the Thieves Guild, remove one threat from a scheme. If this removes the last threat from that scheme, draw one card. So that can be useful. And I am using Remy's ability to uh, uh, do the Thief Extraordinary action for Exhaust Remy Lambo and look at the top two cards of the encounter deck. Discard one of those cards, remove threat from a, uh, a scheme equal to the number of boost icons on that card. So I'm doing that immediately. So we'll get two cards. Guild Business and Sentinel Mark 3. Well, I'm doing the Guild Business, so I'm discarding that. And uh, it is look at the top. Yeah, so we just placed the Sentinel Mark 3 back on top. So we know what's coming and we get to remove two from here. Immediately. Then... Or do we want to use that to remove... Let's see. Uh, we can uh, choose a different scheme. So I'm using the Thief skill to remove this one. So uh, we get to draw a card. It is a Creole Charmer. It is a Alter Ego action. Remove three threats from a scheme. If this removes the last threat from that scheme, confuse the villain. So I'm actually going to play this. And uh, getting rid of this. 
So we confuse the villain. We uh, get to flip this card and put Jubilee into play. Discard any other version of Jubilee from the game. So we got Jubilee. Uh, so action. Uh, exhaust Jubilee and spend uh, energy resource deal to damage to an enemy. So we get Jubilee into play immediately, which is really good. But uh, we also, uh, which I have forgotten in the past, we have to search our deck card. Uh, the encounter deck and discard pile for our sentinel minion and reveal it and uh, we'll do that so we'll search the encounter deck for uh, easy enough sentinel guard patrol well i think this is okay well four hit points are there any other candidates for this uh, sentinel mod 2 when revealed if operation silver is implemented Yes, search, otherwise search and counter deck and discard buffer operation zero tolerance and we'll put that into play. But we have to uh, reveal it. So the when revealed ability will trigger. So first we shuffle and now we got rid of that one uh, sentinel from the top of our deck. So this is turning out to be the longest ever uh, alter ego act. Uh, turn I have ever played but it is what it is I think we're not even going to hero mode this round well uh, maybe we do because we have the hit and run in hand and I'll probably end up playing that to remove the sentinel okay so search as to abduction protocols hinder 2 victory 2 when defeated, the player who defeated this team takes one random set aside captive ally at, and puts it into play under their control and you have to randomize those. Okay, well it has four threat. Well that's good, we have something to aim for. So I'm, I'm actually going to hero mode. We have the confused for later. Uh, then I will use energy and hit and run to play hit and run. So we deal, let's see, I'll do an action to place a charge counter on Gambit. I will deal two damage to an enemy, defeating this and remove two threat from a scheme. And uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be the main scheme. So uh, pretty good start. Uh, we, we, oh, uh, let's wait, I could, I'll hit the top off of the Sentinel with Jubilee. And then we will ready. Okay, uh, we draw our hand of five cards, one, two, three, four, five. We'll go to the villain phase. First, uh, we have the Gambit staff, operate. Operative skills, Stealth Strike, Professor X, and Stealth Strike. Maybe we'll pl uh, play the uh, Professor X. Or we'll see. Well, uh, we're, we're in the villain phase, so now we can't remove threat from the main scheme unless we get rid of this. So we'll add one. Uh, the Sentinel attacks, Gambit will defend. So uh, two attack against three defense and zero boost, so we don't take any damage. And the encounter card for this round is Warn the Others. Force response. After your turn and place this card face down under the operation zero, zero tolerance. Alter ego action. Exhaust your identity. Discard this card. Well, uh, there is no way we can't ready. But we'll uh, see what we do to that next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, I, I think I want to play Gambit Staff, so Hero Interrupt when an enemy attacks, exhaust Gambit Staff, deal 1 damage to that enemy. And, uh, but I really want to play Professor X also. So, forced uh, response after Professor X enters play, choose 1 Confuse, a villain, stun a minion, or ready an X-Men car. Oh yeah, we can ready Gambit with this. Well, that's great. So I'm playing the... I'm using these three to play Professor X.
So I will ready uh, an X-Men character. So Gambit is ready. Uh, we have one card here, but uh, let's see. I we <clears throat> I will um, you use Professor X. So uh, Professor goes away at the end of the round. So I'll use Professor X to uh, thwart this away. Okay, yeah. So this is a victory too, so it goes into the victory display, so out of play. And we shuffle these captives. And we get uh, Wolfsbane. Okay, well, Wolfsbane... Uh, Wolfsbane's attacks against piercing. Two attack and uh, one thwart. So I'm thinking of just attacking with Wolfsbane to hit for two. And that's that. I won't use Jubilee this round. And I will put a charge counter on Gambit. I will flip to Alter Ego. I will exhaust to get rid of this one. So we don't put the card here because we have this... Uh, Alternative losing condition if there are uh, Four cards underneath this because I'm playing through solo. So X is the number of players and plus three uh, So we, if there are four cards underneath this uh, we lose and uh, if an uh, If that card goes there or another card or uh, ally is defeated by sentinels uh, Or enemies uh, we have to that card underneath there, so we don't want to do that. Uh, we have one card in hand, but I'll keep it. Uh, we can't use the Thieves kill Guild, because we can't use the uh, Alter Ego action on uh, Remy. So, um, I think I will just to be sure thwart for one. So, we don't have any threat on there, and the, the Sentinel is confused, so that's that. So we ready up. We draw back up to six. Uh, Gambit's Guild Armor, uh, Creolich Armor, Molecular Acceleration, Breaking and Entering, and Hit and Run. Uh, we go to the Villain phase, we add one threat to the main scheme, uh, we remove the Confused, we get an Encounter card. This uh, gauntlet beam attached to the villain. The villain attacks gain piercing and range. Uh, hero action. Spend three physical resources to remove it. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, yeah, that's it. So Professor X goes away at the end of the round, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay. Let's see what we can do this round. So, uh, let's, let's see, I'm definitely playing, I'm not attacking this round, so, um, I'm using the breaking and entering to play Gambit's armor, I'm using the molecular, no, Creole armor, to play Gambit Staff. So we have the upgrades in play. Then uh, we have Hit and Run and Molecular Acceleration. So I'm actually thinking of just using this to look at the top two cards of the deck. Uh, we might as well take another one of these. So we'll discard the Psionic shield, that's annoying. And this comes on the top of the deck, and we remove two. So let's see. No, uh, we'll remove two from here. Now we can use this to remove one threat from here and draw a card. It is another breaking and entering, so now we can play 
hit and run when we go to hero mode. So, or no point in playing the breaking and entering. Also, uh, point of interest, uh, we have a uh, thief on both sides, so we can play this in hero mode or alter ego. But we'll use the, this tree to play hit and run. And before that, I will charge myself up by one. We could uh, throw the card, but I am saving that when we get those big uh, gambit abilities. So hit and run, we remove uh, two threats and then we deal two damage. And uh, might as well hit with Wolfsbane for two more damage. And I will not do anything with Jubilee at this point. Uh, so we're ready up. We draw uh, back to five. One, two, three, four, five. We get uh, operative skills, mutant, education, type two, strength, and natural agility. Well, I'm probably playing the natural agility. Okay, and. Uh, We'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat here. Uh, Sentinel attacks, I will defend. So now, when an enemy attacks, exhaust gambit staff, deal one damage to that enemy. I will do that. And after gambit defends against an attack and takes no damage, exhaust gambit. Killed armor, ready gambit. So that's great. So we are playing the natural agility. When you defend against an attack, place one charge counter on Gambit. For each charge counter on Gambit, you get plus one defense. So we have a ton of defense now. We have four plus three is seven. So uh, three plus two is... Oh yeah, I didn't think this through. I wanted that in play, but it was a boost card. So. Uh, we get 5 against 7, so we take no damage, we exhaust uh, Guild Armor and Ready Gambit. We get an encounter card, and it is Acolyte Frenzy. When revealed, each Acolyte minion engages you, activates against you if you are not engaged with the Acolyte minion. This card gets searched, so that searches into Sentinel Mark 3. Okay, well, uh, when revealed, search encounter deck and discard file for energy barrier, attachment, that's it, this minion. Uh, let's first search the discard. No energy barriers there. Energy barrier, okay. Can't quite remember what it does, so attach to an sentinel minion without energy barrier. That's and give it the tough status card. Well, it has one <coughs> already. Otherwise, this card can search. Uh, forced response. After attacks, minion attacks, give it that tough status card. Okay, well, that's annoying. Well, we'll have to get rid of that uh, next round. Okay, well, that is the villain phase. So, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, let's see. Um, mutant education. We don't have the mutant trait, so we have to play this in Alter Ego, and we are not going to Alter Ego at this point. I think I will play down Operative Skill. Using Strength. Uh, it comes into play with uh, operative counters. So, what this does is interrupt when you thwart, remove one uh, uh, operative counter from here. That thwart removes one additional threat. Uh, with this, I will exhaust Jubilee and spend one energy resource to knock off the tough. Uh, Gambit will. Oh, yeah, when the enemy attacked, I forgot to deal one damage to it. 
Okay, so Gambit hits for two, and uh, I think I'll just uh, hit this out with Wolf Spain. No, we <laughs> will revert that. So, we won't hit with uh, Jubilee yet. We won't hit with Gambit yet, so we'll uh, reverse this round. So, Wolf Pain has Pierce, so I'll hit off the top and deal 2 damage here. Then Jubilee will do the damage. Removing that. And uh, no point in doing anything else, so I will just put one charge counter here. Then I will hit for two damage. And that is my turn. We ready up and placing these a bit more here. I'm discarding this. We draw one. Uh, actually, I'm saving it because I want to use Jubilee's ability next round. One, two, three, four, five. So we have double mutant uh, education. We have a royal flush. So now we can use those charge counters. We have bishop. We have dazzler. So more allies to help us out. So. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat here, uh, the sentinel attacks, gambit will defend, and I am defending uh, 3 versus 3, and we deal 1 damage with the staff, and 0, we don't take any damage, so I get to ready gambit, that was a lucky one, and we missed the hand burns, which are annoying, and... Uh, We'll get an encounter card. It is adaptive armor. Uh, that's the villain. Uh, while the villain, uh, while, uh, the villain gains plus eight hit points. Uh, action spent three hero actions spent three uh, energy resources, and uh, discard this card. So we'll just mark the extra health on this side. But I think we will. <laughs> we have only energy resources, so I'm, I'm betting we can get rid of that and save the royal flush for later. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, we are definitely uh, discarding uh, these three. So I want to keep. Yeah, I'm discarding this the, to get rid of this. So the Sentinel loses 8 health, which is great for 3 uh, cards that I wasn't intending of playing. Uh, we will put one charge counter here. We save this for next round. And. Uh, Hmm. Uh, I will thwart for one and use this to thwart for two. And that is our round. We draw back up to five. So we get passion for justice, natural agility, royal flush. Dazzler and Royal Flush. So we have plenty to play next round. I'm actually, uh, in hindsight, I will use this to use Jubilee to punch this down to 3 health because we want to know. Let's not uh, let's not do that. Uh, it's a bit too late because I know what's what cars are coming. So, okay. Well, uh, we'll uh, ready up 
and we drew a card, so we'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat here, sentinel attacks, I will defend, and I will play natural agility. So we have too much defense. Uh, give the villain a tough status card. Okay, well, we don't take any damage, so we uh, deal actually, before it gets a tough status card, we deal one damage with the gambit staff, then we ready with gambit skilled armor because we didn't take any damage, but the sentinel gains the tough. And we get an encounter card, it is assault, we'll just defend again, so uh, 3 plus 2 is 2, so we'll take 2 damage, and that's that. And that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, well, I think we don't want to play the Royal Flush just yet. But what can we do? We'll just put one uh, charge counter on here. So I'm using Jubilee and one of, well, this card to remove the tough. And uh, uh, I think we can afford going to Alder Ego get more cards. I'll do that. So, uh, we ready up. We draw a car, uh, three cards. Get uh, Breaking and Entering, Axe Mansion, Passion for Justice, and uh, Royal Flush, Royal Flush, Dazzler. Then we will go to the villain phase, we add one threat here, uh, sentinel schemes for 2 plus 2 is 4, we have 6 here. We place our top card of our deck underneath here unfortunately, then we remove 5, so we have one threat remaining here because we went to 6, we remove 5 and that's that. We get an encounter card, mutated, mutant. Detected. When reveal choose, place the top card of your deck face down under the operation zero tolerance. The villain and each minion engage with two attacks you even if you are in alter ego. Well, then it attacks me. Well, three plus you are stunned and confused. <laughs> that's that's tough. So we take three damage. And we are stunned and we are confused because I don't want to put any more cards on there. But that is the villain phase, oh boy. Um, we'll see how we can get past this, so let's go to the next hero phase. Let's see how we can get out of this. So we are stunned, so... I think I will... Uh, I will just heal up. Uh, I will go to hero mode. And these are actually hero interrupts, so I couldn't use them in the Alter Ego when the Sentinel attacked me. Then I will use these four cars to a Dazzler. Uh, shame to lose one Royal Flush, but it is what it is. We need to get an ally into play. And we'll keep this in hand next round. We hopefully can uh, get rid of the stun and play the Royal Flush. Then... Um, when after Dazzler enters, play Confuse an enemy, so I will Confuse the Sentinel and I will hit the Sentinel for 2 damage, be ready up. We won't use Jubilee this round, we draw back up to 5, unfortunately we get an extra card, but we get Rogue 
which will be uh, next round we can play it for free because we reduce the cost to play rogue by one for each charge counter on your identity and we have uh, eight so <laughs> we have plenty so rogue can def defend against us for once but uh, the villain has piercing and range so maybe not so we won't value the toughness on rogue okay well so we have rogue genius charge card operative skills and royal royal flush okay uh, we'll go to the villain phase we add one threat here Sentinel attacks. I will defend. I will deal one damage with the Gambit staff. Uh, Sentinel hits for three plus. He is. Well, we take three damage and we don't get ready. Which is bad. Okay, well, it is what it is. Uh, we'll get an encounter card, so we have two to resolve. We have Sentinel Mark 3, Toughness when revealed, search encounter deck, and discard card for energy barrier, and that's it for this. And gang up, that, that is a bad one. So first we'll search for the energy barrier. That guy will hit like a truck now. Oh dear, we are, we are in bad spots. So, um, no helping it. Going near loss here, but it is what it is. So the Sentinel attacks, I will defend with Jubilee. 3 plus 2, at least the Shadows of the Past went past me. So Jubilee is defeated and goes underneath here. We have now 2 of 4 there. Then this guy attacks, so I have to defend with Dazzler and this hits for 5 and uh, Dazzler is defeated, goes underneath here I'll just place it underneath here they are not in play but doesn't matter and that is that so really bad situation we have here but it is what it is so we are one card away from losing so going to Alter Ego is not that great but we'll see how we if we can bounce back from here with the help of Rogue, but not looking good. So that is that round. Let's go to the next hero phase. We add... Uh, no. Okay, well, we have some way of doing something. We will play charge card. No, that will just fizzle. So first off, we play rogue for free. Rogue will hit off the top. So rogue had top, so we remove the top from rogue. Now uh, we have. Uh, well, we need to get rid of the charge card some way no no the stunned i mean well we'll play use genius to play charge card which will remove the stunned and that's everything we can do unfortunately um We'll just auto lose if we go to Alter Ego, so hoping we won't get a bad encounter card. Okay, well. Not not looking good. Uh, we'll discard that, we'll draw five cards and uh, natural agility, that might actually save us. So... Okay. We'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat to the main scheme. The sentinel attacks, I will defend with natural agility. 
So we act first defeat the sentinel uh, phase one. The, this guy getting stuff. Then we'll put one abduction protocols into play. And I'm defending, so we will use the natural utility. Oh yeah, we added one charge on us, so we have nine. <laughs> Running out of room here. <clears throat> well, uh, we have plus nine, so uh, three plus zero. We don't take any damage, so we get ready. Then we will defend against this one. And this game's tough, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Uh, this guy has 18 health. And toughness. Mm, so... That is that, so we get an encounter card, and don't be a bad one. Sinex shield, attach your minion one. Otherwise, Sinex Shield can search. When Attach Minion would be playing, instead heal all damage from that minion and put it back into play, then discard this attachment. Well, isn't this a tough sentinel? But what can you do? Okay, well, mm, we have a way around that, but we'll see how that goes next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, um, we have some options here. Uh, we will... Hit off the top with Rogue. Then we will... Play the Royal Flush. So... Place one charge counter on Gambit. I'll just place two. Well. Because I'll do the uh, placing of one before that. So we have a ton. So we deal uh, zero damage to an enemy. Then we deal zero damage to an enemy. Then we deal zero damage to an enemy. So we have three different... Um, instances of damage so we'll remove three counters with the uh, throw the card ability so now we deal three damage here this gets removed we deal three damage here this whole shabang gets moved uh, removed then uh, we will just remove the top well at least something went our way and to play the Royal Flush, I use these three. Uh, unfortunately, we can't go to Alter Ego yet. I will do that next round. So, uh, we ready up. And hope to survive to next round. We'll draw back up to uh, five. We have a uh, Royal Flush, a uh, Creole Charmer, times two, breaking and entering and operating skills. Okay, uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. We definitely must fought that somehow next round, but we first need to get rid of this. Uh, we will defend against the attack. I will deal one damage. Onto the sentinel and uh, hoping to not die here so three against defense three plus one exhaust your identity it doesn't matter we only take one damage but we can't ready which is a shame we would have wanted to vote for one to get rid of this confusion uh, that might ruin our plans we'll get an encounter card and it is sentinel moth 
to he this can search because that is in play and we get another abduction protocol so that seals our fate uh, we can't kill off uh, sentinel fast enough so that is that but we'll play through so uh, that is that round let's go to the next round okay definitely the last round of the game I will just try to do something flashy here so I think Rogue will uh, will add one charge counter on Gambit mm. and we'll play Royal Flush and remove three so we deal three damage three damage and three damage unfortunately it is not enough and we can't thwart this so uh, that will be the end of the game but uh, Rogue will hit it to down to five so we are uh, five damage away from getting the win, but it is not meant to be so fortunately we ready up uh, We draw back up to five Charge the card which would have won us the game And a bunch of stuff we add one threat here which means we put the last card here and get a loss from this. But still, I'm definitely liking <laughs> Gambit's playstyle. Uh, you can really uh, play uh, in true solo between the uh, alter ego and uh, hero mode. Uh, unfortunately, we got this uh, stun and confused combo at the wrong moment and uh, we couldn't uh, whittle down the sentinel fast enough, but it is what it is. Uh, we could have tried somehow to get rid of these, to get some of these allies into play, but what can you do? Not enough thwarting power with these guys because they only all have one. But yeah, still, I, I really enjoyed playing Gambit. Uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, from the new X-Men heroes that have come out for Marvel Champions card game. Looking forward to what um, mutants they will add later on. And I, I think they will be making an, another big box for the mutants and more uh, less known mutants should come out, but there's no announcements yet. So we will have to just hope, but still, Definitely get this pack if you like playing through solo. It offers quite an interesting game style. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.